first off, you cannot snore and dream at the same time. The body physically won't allow it. Adults dream off and on for about an hour and a half to three hours every night. The average person has about 1,460 dreams a year, which is about four dreams per night. It has been suggested by scientists that unborn babies' dreams are composed of sound and touch sensations as they've had no visual stimuli up to that point. Plato believed that dreams originated in the organs of the belly, and he especially believed that the liver was the biological seed of dreams. Most of us dream every 90 minutes, and the longest dreams, which last about 30 to 45 minutes, occur in the morning. During REM sleep, the flow of blood to the brain increases, as does the brain's temperature. Dreams of dirty water are thought to signal that the unconscious mind is telling the dreamer they're not healthy, whereas cakes in dreams are thought to signify a time to rejoice or celebrate. In ancient Greece, dreams were actually thought of as messages from the gods. Due to extreme hormonal changes, pregnant women tend to remember dreams better than their male or non-pregnant female counterparts. Childhood dreams are shorter than adult dreams, and nearly 40% of them are nightmares, which scientists believe may act as a coping mechanism. Dreams during REM sleep tend to be more bizarre and detailed. They generally have a storyline, whereas dreams in stage 1 and stage 2 of sleep are simple and short and have no storyline. Deep sleep dreams tend to be about nothing more than a color or emotion. People who are born blind report no visual imagery in dreams, but they do experience a heightened sense of taste, touch, and smell. For unknown reason, males dream of males more often than females dream of males, and this is actually true for children, adolescents, and adults in all parts of the world. Those who watched a black and white television as young children tend to have more monochromatic dreams than their counterparts who watched color television. And people who suddenly quit smoking report more vivid dreams than they have.